Hello friends, I wanted to bring you a quick update on the planter that I planted less than 30 days ago. Looks pretty good, I'm really happy with it. This purple fountain grass has just exploded with growth and look at the tassels on it. I don't know, is that the right word, tassel? These are just one of my favorite things that these grasses, any grass that makes these, we'll call them tassels. I love them, absolutely gorgeous. Now the wind blows it over and it makes it look kind of cool beautiful. The juniper looks fantastic, looks really happy. I have to admit I'm not sure if I were to do it over again if I would use the potato vine. I'm gonna leave it in there and once it spills over maybe I'll be able to see my senior a little bit. It's growing nicely in here. I even have new growth. Look at I've got a little bud right here. So the zinnia is really happy. Get this grass pulled up a little bit. You can see everything looks really nice. So yeah, I think if I were to do it again, I may not include the potato vine, but like I said, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll give you an update and let you know what it looks like once it's spilled over completely. I love this beautiful boogie woogie sedum. The contrast in color and texture, so pretty. And look at our Laura Petulum looks okay, looks happy. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased. Now, like I said, you can't really see the zinnia, which was supposed to be playing off of the coreopsis over there in the corner. But wow, look at that firelight hydrangea. Check that out. Let's go look at that for a minute. This is my firelight hydrangea. Looking gorgeous. Couldn't be happier with her this year. I moved her too, I moved her from the back of the garden up towards the front. Starting to turn kind of pink. You can see some of that pink. I'll post more videos of the transition from the white flowers to the pink flowers. It'll end up being more of a maroon by the end of the summer. Pretty exciting. This is our second year with this firelight hydrangea. Beautiful, beautiful. And our Coreopsis are coming along. They bloom out and then they kind of go dormant for a while and look sort of scraggly and then they bloom out again. So we're getting our second bloom now. You can see my wet feet. So there's your update, 25 day update. Stay tuned and follow along. We'll find out if this potato vine is going to spill over enough to kind of let us see that orange from the road because that's too pretty to cover up. I bet I could find another planter to move that potato vine to also. So pretty when the wind blows. Meet me back here in about four more weeks and I'll show you what everything looks like again.